Did you see that Tesla just cleared a big obstacle for the Model 3 and Model Y? Tesla had a rough start of the week, but the company is finally getting some good news to the end of it. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Tesla's bad week is ending on a positive note. Earlier this week, Tesla announced price increases across the entire range of vehicles. It was the electric vehicle maker's second price increase this month after it increased the cost of some of its long-range models last week. Inflation is driving up the price of its entire fleet, but the price of the Model 3 may be the most concerning for Tesla. Why? as that base model is supposed to be the affordable one for Tesla. The Model 3 rail will drive, so its price increase to $46,990 from $44,990, while the long-range version of the vehicle, so its price increase to $54,490 from $51,990. So somewhere from $4,000 to $5,000 price increase. Another bit of bad news came days later. The Chinese officials battling a new outbreak of virus began locking down large population centers across the country to combat the spread of this virus. Those lockdowns forced Tesla to shut down its factory in Shanghai for a couple of days, but now the company is back to making cars at Giga Shanghai, what has turned out to be its most important Giga factory in the world. Now, so like I said, Tesla restarted production in China. Tesla China is back again. What happened is this. The company reportedly resumed production at its Shanghai facility Friday, and I'll tell you in a moment what time exactly, a two-day pause, and um, after a two-day pause as an uptick of uh, the virus in China had resulted in lockdowns across the country. Tesla's Shanghai-based electric car facility restarted its two-shift vehicle production on Friday, 7 a.m. in the morning local time. The facility will be running around the clock again once more, which means that Model 3 and Model Y production should start ramping in the coming days. Enough workers at the plant have reportedly returned to their posts after being placed in a nearby residential compound for 46 hours, Tesla Radio reports. This time was spent testing the workers for possible infections and now everything uh, looks good. As noted in a report from Automotive News, the updates about Giga Shanghai's return to operations were shared by individuals who were familiar with electric vehicle makers' operations. The individuals who provided the information opted uh, to remain anonymous as they were reportedly not authorized to speak with the media. Tesla China, for its part, has not commented on Giga Shanghai's operations so far. With Gigafactory Shanghai back in action after its two-day break, Tesla's output from China this month may still be quite impressive. March has 31 days, after all, and a two-day shutdown should not pull down the company's numbers that much, especially if you compare it with February. It should be noted that Tesla delivered a record number of 70,847 vehicles in December 2021, a month with the same number of days as March and which also happened to be the final month of the quarter. So we're comparing quarter to quarter, although December is also end of the year. Tesla typically engages in uh, end of quarter delivery blitz with the company's workers uh, digging deep during a quarter's final month to ensure maximum vehicle deliveries. While this system has allowed Tesla to post impressive numbers, CEO Elon Musk has called for an end to the practice, noting in an email from November 2021 that the delivery blitzes are burning out the company's workers, which is right. Musk wrote that Tesla should work on reducing the wave of deliveries that are typically done at the final weeks of the quarter. Considering that March is the last month of quarter one 2022, it would not be surprising if Tesla China ends up conducting a vehicle delivery blitz in the coming days anyway. Do you think it 
will do that let me know friends in the comment section below after all tesla china typically allows the uh, final weeks of the quarter for local vehicle deliveries and based on the performance of the model 3 and model y in china the electric vehicle segment the demand for tesla's electric cars is notable there this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and let me know friends what do you think about the short reports that i've started doing compared to longer reports and if any one of you is one of the first recipients of giga berlin made model y and are expected to uh, are invited to receive the giga berlin made model y on uh, march 22nd please let us know we would be interested to interview and talk to you about the experience have a wonderful rest of the day God bless you everyone, peace be with all of you, and I'll see you soon in our next report today.